The Census Bureau is huge. Elijah and I kept getting turned around. There you are. I'm so glad we found you. We have lots of questions about data visualization. Can you answer them for us? Did you know what data visualization was, Kayla? Not until I talked to Jerson and Viviana. It's when you use graphics to show numbers in a different way. Instead of just looking at numbers on a page, they're represented by pictures, so you can actually see what they mean. Just wait, some cool examples are coming up. I'm Jerson Vasquez. I'm a data visualization lead with the U.S. Census Bureau. And I'm Viviana Garcia, data dissemination assistant. Nice to meet you. I'm Elijah. And I'm Kayla. Nice to meet you. The clock is ticking, so let's get going. So what do you do at the Census Bureau? More and more at the Census Bureau, we're using interactive visualizations to really showcase our data and our statistics. So users can use charts, graphs, even maps to basically identify patterns, outliers, and trends in the data. What kind of tasks does your day typically involve? Well, we receive a lot of data requests, so I can go on the website, look up the data, and then format it so that the customer can actually be able to read what I'm sending them. And what we do a lot of times is we take it another step further, taking the numbers off the page and really designing different visualizations, charts, graphs, maps even, because creating these interactive visualizations really allows the data user to engage at a deeper level and to understand it better. Can you tell us more about the tools you use to visualize and analyze the data? Sure, I'd love to. Basically what you're looking at here is one of the ways on data.census.gov that we're building in some simple visualizations into the numbers we produce. For instance, the big game census is something we did around a championship game recently. Here, we decided to have some fun with it, showcasing where different players are from on each of the team rosters. Now, this builds some interest and also allows people to see different features on data population statistics. In this case, I'm hovering over to Cater, Georgia, and see the population is just over 23,000. How are you preparing for the 2020 census? Well, right now, it's a very important time for the Census Bureau. We're hiring a lot of people in the field to go out and make partnerships with community organizations, different local governments, to really start promoting the 2020 census. It's a big thing we do. When Jerson says people in the field, he means that they aren't in the office like he is. And the partners he's talking about help tell even more people about how important the census is so more people will complete it. And it's really important to resetting or updating really the statistical foundation of the nation for the next 10 years. Why is the census important? The census is important because it provides critical data for lawmakers, um, business owners, teachers, and many others. Every year, billions of dollars in federal funding go to hospitals, fire departments, schools, roads, and other resources. One of the main functions of the decennial count, the census, is to basically provide the numbers and population totals so that the Congress of the United States can be reapportioned. So different states may lose or gain a seat in Congress according to the population totals and that's a very essential role of the census. But other roles are just as important. Your jobs sounds super cool. Thanks for talking to us. Good luck disseminating all the data from the 2020 census. I learned that word disseminate from Jerson and Viviana. Disseminate means to spread. One time, I disseminated flyers around our neighborhood about our yard sale. Don't forget what disseminate means. The quiz is coming up. It's been our pleasure, and hurry back for the quiz. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census Bureau counts everyone who lives in the United States. This decennial census impacts how federal funds are allocated each year for special education, classroom technology, school lunch assistance, and teacher training. Allocate means to divide and give out for a special reason. The count can also impact funds for Head Start, after-school programs, and other education-related services.